Got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And Angela's birthday is tomorrow. And we actually have some family members staying in the house. What we have is her dad, her sister, and two nieces. So I'm in charge of preparing her raw food birthday lunch. And I've been searching everywhere through all my recipe books. And I'm really liking this living cuisine one by Renee Laux under Um I remember trying one of her chocolate cakes that was done at a Chicago potluck and it was awesome. And what we're gonna do, what I'm trying to do here is do really gourmet. I don't wanna like stuff them with a lot of raw food because then it's just like monotonous and they'll have a bad experience. What I wanna do is give them gourmet little bits. And so I'm making many dishes, but this one is really cool. It's a three layer, layered pate terrine. And, um, what it is, it's like three different nut cheeses, like cashew mainly, um, and they're three different colors. We've got red, green, and white, and it's gonna be layered beautifully, and then you can take crackers and like kind of dip it in there, and then boom, there you go. And that's the perfect appetizer. So this recipe is pretty simple. I mean, it's a little difficult, but hey, that's all right. So here we go, everybody. You take a food processor, you take one cup of cashews, hey right, you gotta put clothes on if you're gonna be on the video. You want dad to bring you clothes? Yes. Okay, cool. There we go. That's my favorite one, Dada. We've got her favorite dress so she could be in the video. Okay, so what we've discovered is a swimming pool for Danny Dog is his name. And what we're doing is we're making a recipe for Mama's birthday, right? And what we have here, we have cashews that Dada soaked. Dada, you tell me what we do. We put it in there or in there? We put this cup of cashews yes. in here. Okay. You want to do it or do you want Dada to do it? Me. Okay. You want Dada to help you? Okay, so we soaked these cashews, and after we soak them, we blot them dry, and it's a cup. Here, you can even like, there you go, baby girl. Bam, 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 bam. And then what we do next, careful, there's a blade in there, right? You might go, ah! Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to break it down into a fine meal, and then we're gonna add all the other ingredients. Okay. So we just gotta go, boop! Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna take this off though again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Now it's a fine meal, right? Okay. Look how pretty that is. You see that, everybody? Remember, there's a blade in there, right? It could be ow. Okay, so dad has actually cut his finger on there. Okay, so now what we wanna do is add a cup of red bell peppers. All of it? All of it. Yep, just throw it on in. And then what we want to do, they usually use in this layer a red miso, but all I have is sea clear, which is a miso. So we need two tablespoons of this rye. Like this is a tablespoon right here. So we got to, let's get one tablespoon first. Okay, that's a little bit more than a tablespoon. The next one we'll do. Throw it on in there. <laughs> it landed on the floor, everybody. You want dad to do this one? Okay, because it was hard to get out and it stuck. So we'll do one tablespoon and then another tablespoon. I bet the dog guys are gonna like that one, aren't they? This one right here, oh, this is a clove of garlic. Okay. Here, let's, let's break it a little bit so you can smell it. I want to try to smell it. Let's cut it in half. What do you think of that? Smell it, what do you think about it? It's pretty intense, huh? It's garlic. All right, we throw the garlic in. Yeah, throw that one in. And then we need a teaspoon of salt. 
All right, you can throw that teaspoon of salt in. And we need just a pinch of cayenne if desired. I'm just gonna do a little pinch, that's it. Okay, we need two tablespoons of olive oil, right? You wanna do this? Okay, here, I'll, I'll fill it up and then you can put it in. There you go. And then we need one more, just like that. There we go. Thank you, Riza Biza. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I think we got everything in there. Oh, I forgot something, guys. It's very important. We need a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. So we, we gotta put those in here now. We gotta make sure those go in. And they're soaked until soft. There we go, Rai. And now, this is the red layer of the cake. And we're talking red bell pepper, red tomatoes. These are the things that are making this red. And this is the first, top, this is the top layer. So what we're gonna do is put this, and we're dodging the sea clear on the ground, and we're gonna put it on. And then of course, during this process, all the stuff that's coming on the sides, you just wanna push down a bit, like that. I like that. You like that, right? Yes. Yeah. I really like it. She really, really likes it. Okay. Mama! Mama went to go get some of the ingredients for the green layer. This is the red layer. There's like basil and spinach. She's in the gardens. What we're gonna do is break this down until it's fine and creamy and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator because you want it to get a little bit hard before you use it because it's gonna be three layers. You don't want the layers to mix. So it will get hardened in the refrigerator. And uh, we'll be back for the next layer. Here is the top layer. We blended it to a smooth consistency in the food processor. Smells incredible. And now we're gonna do the second layer, the middle layer. This is the top layer and it's gonna be white. And what I'm doing is I'm soaking one cu cup of macadamia nuts and two cups of cashews. And once these are soaked for 15 minutes, I'm going to strain it and blot it dry in a towel. And then we're gonna add the next ingredients for this white layer. It's gonna be incredible. We'll be back in one moment. So, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to make the third layer, no, the second layer, which is the middle layer that goes right here. And what we have is two cups of soaked cashews, and then you blot them dry, so they're kind of dry. And um, we have one cup of macadamia nuts, blotted dry also right there. So we're gonna throw all these in. And then the next step is to Food process these into a fine consistency meal type of deal like this. If you're wondering where Araya went, she went to the greenhouse to get a cucumber to show you guys how she eats a cucumber. But I think she got sidetracked on the way because Angela's nieces are here by playing in the pool right now and she's over there. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see that Araya, how she eats a cucumber. All right, so this looks like it's a fine meal. Ooh, that looks good. And then next what we do is we put a third cup of lemon juice right in there. Bam. And then we take two tablespoons of olive oil. One. Two. And then what we do is we blend this to a fine consistency with the food processor. This is the white layer. Woo! All right, that looks good. So then we take two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Una. Dos, that's a lot. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. Booyah. And then we mix that again. Here we go. 
smells good. I'd say that layer is done. What we do now is put it in here, put it in the refrigerator so it gets firm, so it can, we can work with it later like we were talking about before. And then we're gonna work on the green layer. And we'll see you in a bit. We're back and we've got a Raya Berry Monarch. Mama said that you went to the greenhouse to get a cucumber to show everybody how you eat a cucumber. Did you already eat it? She already ate it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make the third layer, the bottom layer, we can call it the first layer too, and it's gonna be the green layer. It's gonna be pretty green. And what we gotta do is first add a half cup of onions. Just throw it right in there, right? All of it. All of it. Green onion, that is. Okay. We want to put this one clove of garlic in. And then we want to put two packed cups of spinach leaves, which we already measured. All of it. All of it. All of it, she says. No, all of it. Wow. Okay, that's it. Be careful. Remember, there's a blade in the bottom. Let us cut his fingers in there. He'll start bleeding in the past. Ooh. And then we've got two cups of basil. And um, this is a little bit less because our basil is extremely strong here. All of it. Woo! Right, baby, monarch! Little bits. Okay. And then we've got, how much was this, babe? Cup. One cup of parsley. Throw that on in there. I guess you can see how this is gonna be a green layer. And we've got plenty more items to add, but before we get to that, we've got to, careful, careful, there's blade in there. We've got to grind this down as fine as possible, and then we start adding the nuts, right? You wanna sit right here so everyone can see the food processor? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Probably pulse it. There we go. Look at that. All that down to this. Wow, that's a lot of greens. It's pretty trippy, huh, Rai? It's like. Wow. Where did it all go, Rai? It's all gone. It's just little babies. That's crazy. Smells really good. It smells like green. Can you smell it? It smells green. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we soaked a half cup of cashews and blotted it dry. All of it goes on in there. Just throw it on in. Yeah. All of it. And then we soaked a cup of walnuts and blotted it dry. Only 15 minutes we soaked all these nuts for her through this entire video. Throw it all in, Rye. And then we have one third cup of pine nuts that are so soft that we don't even need to soak them, actually. Pine nuts are not required to soak. One third cup. Boop. And then you do salt to taste. Let's do like a teaspoon here, or oh. half a teaspoon here. Okay, you do it. You throw that in there. Okay, and then we gotta, you wanna come back here, right? We're gonna add a couple more things in a second, but we gotta blend it again first, make it smooth, and then we could add this stuff. Let's see what it looks like. All right, everybody, the car just died on us. We've got full, so I just reset it. Araya's busy doing something else. She doesn't wanna take, partake in this last little bit. So what we're gonna do is take two tablespoons of a miso. This is Sea Claire, our favorite miso. You're supposed to do red miso in the recipe. So there's one tablespoon, and then two. And then you do two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. And then you just blend all this together with the previous ingredients already in here until it's a fine creamy consistency. And then we put it in the refrigerator so it could get hard, so we could then put all the layers together into this awesome thing we we're talking about. And um, here we go. 
and we'll be back with you. I'm probably gonna finish this off maybe tonight or tomorrow with the rest of this recipe and we'll see you then. Boom. Okay, everybody, welcome back. What we're doing is this three layer pate terrine or something like that, some gourmet dish, but this is an awesome gourmet, beautiful looking dish by the time we're done with it. And um, this has been in the refrigerator for a while, so it's been more firm and I could work with it better. And we're doing, there's three layers. We've got the red, white, and then green. And this is gonna be the top layer, but we're putting it in first. And what you do is you take like an eight by nine pan or ceramic dish or whatever, and I coated it with olive oil and then put this plastic in here. Um, they say use saran wrap, but um, it's really toxic and um, actually we just don't have any saran wrap. <laughs> so I had to get a plastic bag. I would be using saran wrap if I had it in a second. So what we're going to do is, but this is actually working really well. I would have never known about this. This is like a BPA shopping bag that you would get from Whole Foods or something. So we're going to do the first layer now. This is the pretty red layer. It smells so good, guys. It's unbelievable. And it's beautiful. Look at this. It smells so good. Okay, so we're just going to get this entire thing in here. This is going to be a little nerve-wracking because this is all about presentation, the rest of this recipe. And you got to do layer after layer, and then you got to flip it over and all this other crazy stuff. So now the goal is to get it evenly spread at the bottom. It's going to be beautiful. This is going to be the best birthday lunch ever. It's her birthday. Tomorrow morning. It's her birthday in just a few hours, as a matter of fact. And I have a special surprise for her that she doesn't know about. It's actually going to be here any minute. Want me to tell you what it is? Because I'll tell you what it is. As I spread this perfectly, even layered everywhere. In Ecuador here, you know when you buy a dozen roses in the United States, it costs like $300? Here in Ecuador, it costs 10 $10. And we're talking extravagant roses. We're talking like long stem, pretty flowers in between. Craziness, $10. $10. So what I did was I spent $110 for like 12 crazy amount bouquets of flowers. This place is gonna smell and look beautiful. And then I'll put a picture on Facebook. And everyone will be like, I can't believe you spent so much on flowers. It's just, a, I did this at Valentine's Day. It was just a hundred bucks. Half the price to get one bouquet in the United States. Okay. So I'm a little nervous about this. What I'm going to do is do one layer. And I'm going to let it harden in the fridge for a little bit. And then I'll do the next layer. Even though it's already, it's probably good now. I'm just a little... What's the word? Perfectionist. So I'm going to be at this because I want to make this perfect and we'll see you in a moment. Welcome everybody. We are back. This is getting serious now. Very serious. This is just in the freezer for like three minutes. So it's a little bit harder. And everything lies in this next portion. There's actually a few serious portions like this. But what we have here, we have the red layer down. The next layer is the white layer. This is very serious, guys. We don't want them to intermingle. And the way we do this is we're going to do it in three sections. I should probably get off the camera right now because there might be some screaming and yelling. Just being honest, keeping it real here. We're going to cut this in thirds because we're going to do a third at a time. It's got to be perfect. And I'm not using saran wrap, so it's harder. So this is, we just cut this into thirds. 
we're gonna get it dirty here because I, I we're getting dirty here because I will not stand for error. Okay, so we're gonna do a third of it right now here. Maybe I could even ooh mold it up above. Since this is like heavy mac nuts and stuff like that, I could kind of like mold it up here maybe. Here we go, guys. Serious. This isn't, I know we joke a lot around on the Raw Food World TV show, but this is like serious stuff. We can't mess around here. Serious. All right. <gasps> Okay, what we gotta do is a little bits at a time. See that? You see that? It's already red on the bottom. Okay, we just gotta do this. We just gotta do this. We just gotta do it. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. Bam, 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 da, bam, bam. This is nerve wrecking. Nerve wrecking. This is probably, it's good that the white layer is kind of like a, it's moldable. The other layers are not moldable like this. But still, this is dangerous. You gotta make it like the right height or you're not gonna have it go all the way through. All right. I don't think you wanna sit, watch me here for an hour as I do this. So what we're gonna do is take a break for you guys while you could avoid hearing my screaming and yelling from any mistakes or mishaps I have. We're about to rock this house. It ain't so bad because of it's a little bit easier here. So I'm gonna take my time with this entire layer and then I'm gonna put it in the freezer for three, five minutes just so it hardens and then we'll do the final green layer. So uh, we're one third done. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome everybody, we're back. Unfortunately, my microphone wasn't set up for the next few clips, so I'm gonna be doing a voice over here. But here I am doing the green layer pate and here is a final look at it all put together. And you see how I'm like making these hand gestures and showing you how even it is. And I'm going like that on the edges right there. Well, I discovered, to, you see how perfectly even it is all the way around? Whenever it wasn't even on any layer, I would take a blob and just kind of like pinch it on top until it was perfect. And then here is the book, Living Cuisine by Rene Ocalafla or something. And that is available on our website. It's one of my favorite books now. And now we're going to wrap this guy up and um, put him in the refrigerator. There we go. And guess what is just arriving as I finish this off? Angela's birthday present that I was telling you about. This guy right here was literally $5. This big bouquet to the right of me of all those crazy amounts of roses was ten dollars this one was probably five this one was definitely five the other ones were ten this is pretty much what we're dealing with in the United States it would literally this guy was ten they're all hiding back there I had to like show multi this one is absolutely beautiful here's another one it's made like a heart look how beautiful this is and um, when she wakes up in the morning I'm gonna have ten dollars right here I'm gonna have everything beautifully presented in the perfect way to where she comes out that door and is just gonna she's gonna be walking and just flowers and flowers and flowers and here we are the next morning with the girls this was the most scariest part of all the finished thing we've got to flip this guy over you put it on a dish but we just had a tray because all the dishes are probably at the retreat area and then all the girls are scared too they know how nervous I am look at them they want to look boom in the book, they say deftly flip it over. I don't even know what deftly means until Angela told me. And this was the scariest part because I couldn't take it off. So I had the girls help me. 
and I started pulling and pulling, and it was so difficult. And then all of a sudden, finally, I saw the red kind of like coming off of the the glass there. I was like, yes, I'm like, keep going, keep going, keep going, and boom, that was extremely, extremely scary. And then boom, look at that beauty. We got to cut it up, and then you could just take crackers, and there you have it. But this was another nerve-wrecking part, cutting it, this beauty, this creation of beauty. Here I am watering, putting water on the knife so it doesn't stick. That's key. And then everyone's like really scared for me as I cut and cut. Ugh, look at that. And I do it perfectly though. Perfectly. And I'm doing like one inch to one and a half inch squares is what's recommended. And the presentation is perfect. Everyone loved this dish. Angela's dad really liked it a lot. It's like cheese. Three different layers. My favorite layer was the green layer and the red layer. But green was first. And then you just put it on here and then people could take crackers or carrots and dip it in and eat it. And everyone's like, yay! You see how happy I am? This was the final dish. Spending hours making recipes. Just finally relaxation. What do you think, Ray? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, Nicola was saying about asking someone to take a photo of us oh, as well. Yeah. And here is the final result of all the meal we're about to eat. And raw pizza. That's what Angela wanted for her birthday. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.